Governments and international organizations around the world have reacted to the situation in Afghanistan as Taliban forces entered the capital Kabul on Sunday, with several nations moving to evacuate diplomatic staff while others have vowed to continue operations in the country. While United Nations, UN, agencies have pledged to remain in Afghanistan, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres is following the rapidly evolving situation and, according to a press release issued on Sunday, urges the Taliban and all other parties to exercise utmost restraint to protect lives and ensure that humanitarian needs can be addressed. The UN remains determined to contribute to a peaceful settlement, promote the human rights of all Afghans, notably women and girls, and provide life-saving humanitarian assistance and critical support to civilians in need, the statement added. Meanwhile, U.S. Republican Senator Liz Cheney said on Sunday that the current U.S. government under President Joe Biden, as well as the previous administration of former President Donald Trump, should bear the responsibility for the Taliban's rapid takeover of Afghanistan. She said that although the United States and NATO spent millions of dollars setting up security forces in Afghanistan over the past two decades, the Taliban has been able to take over the entire country in the space of just a few weeks. The United States has redeployed thousands of troops to oversee the evacuation of diplomatic personnel in the country, and President Biden has defended his government's initial decision to pull out American forces. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson had a meeting of the Emergency Cobra Committee on the latest developments in Afghanistan on Sunday afternoon, and he has urged against unilateral recognition of the Taliban as the government of Afghanistan. Germany has closed its embassy in Kabul and said it has been continuing efforts to evacuate its citizens. Russian President Vladimir Putin's special envoy for Afghanistan, Zamir Kabulov, told media outlet Echo Moskvi, Echo Moscow, on Monday that Russia will urgently withdraw about 100 staff members from its embassy in Afghanistan. Turkey said it would keep its embassy in Kabul open and continue to provide assistance to its citizens in the country who want to leave. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Chunying said on Monday in response to a question on the situation in Afghanistan that the Chinese embassy in Afghanistan is still operating normally, and the Chinese ambassador and embassy staff are still sticking to their posts and performing their duties.